Look what I created today, very easy game, just need to throw the knives. Oh, it turned back. Hello and welcome back to another video by Ali at Dunduka Studio. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a replica of the knife hit game, which is one of the most popular games that attracted a lot of people in the first few weeks of its release. And it has more than 100 million downloads in the Play Store and App Store. By the way, the version I want to make for you today is a demo of the knife hit game that is available on Dunduka Studio website and its source code is available for purchasing. Okay, real quick, just subscribe me and let's get it started. Okay guys, let's add level done codes to the game. I'm gonna create a new group called level done. And I'm gonna hit B and F and call this function level done. And I need another uh, variable here. I'm gonna copy and paste it and let's call this level done. A lot of Level, level done in the game so this one is group this one is function and this one is variable of course and uh, let's set it set this uh, variable to one and I need to call this function in here because I commented it and uh, let's just call this function and close this one here we just need to uh, destroy the log and create some broken logs broken logs uh, three broken logs with three different animations so I'm gonna use for loop uh, for loop for this one so let's add four from one to three I'm gonna create Broken log, layer game, log.x, log.y. It's uh, here we, we create three object of broken log, and then we, we need to create, uh, we need to set its animation uh, based on the index of this for loop. So I'm gonna set its animation to animation percent loop index animation space loop index which will be one two or three and uh, then I need to go and run the game okay this level is very very hard for uh, this tutorial let's go and change it to uh, this and let's uh, make the knife to five okay and run all right okay this one uh this broken lock worked because we added actually i added the uh bullet and rotate behavior to it and they're enabled and i need to just uh set it uh set the bullets uh I forgot that what was that okay let's let's go and find it what was that yeah angle of motion so let's go and set its angle of motion to something like random between 200 degrees and 340 degrees and uh, let's set a speed of rotate behavior too okay I'm gonna copy and paste it and go in here set a speed to random between 100 and 200 multiply by choose between minus one and one this one uh, said it's counterclockwise and this one makes it uh, clockwise and this is the this this will uh, give us a, a random number between these two numbers okay let's go and see what happens all right okay very good now we need to throw the knives as we did for broken locks so i'm gonna hit p here and uh let's say for each knife we have we need to uh, actually set the rotation of its bullet because we have bullet for this one two 
So I'm gonna copy and paste this here and hit R for replace it with this object and uh, let's enable the bullet because it's not enabled for knife and then we need to set its rotate behavior so I'm gonna copy and paste it here and uh, again I, I hit R and replace with knife and uh, this number is a bit uh, low for this object I'm gonna make it 200 and 400 and let's enable rotate 2 okay now let's see what happens very good now we need to uh, stay a few stay a few seconds and then go to the next level so let's go here and add a uh, weight action here wait for something like 1.5 seconds and then set level down to zero and then we're gonna add to level one level one plus one goes to level two and so on and then we're gonna need to initiate the level so all right level two okay we don't have level two we need to add it here copy and paste make it level two and let's enable this one this raise and delete this okay this one five knives simple ten knives sign type okay now let's go and run again Okay, level two, ten knives, very good. And you need to add your levels here. And this was the final part of this series. Hope you enjoyed it and have fun. Hope you enjoyed the video. Next week I will publish the second part of the series. Till then, you try to double up the game and send me to see them. By the way, don't forget to comment me what challenge you have and I will create a video about it. Thank you so much. Have a great time.